innovative approach to education is making one Newark High School the model for all others, thanks to one principal's winning strategy and determination. Principal Akbar Cook gained national attention and recognition when he placed washers and dryers inside of Westside High School for students who didn't have access to clean clothes. Principal Cook appeared on The Ellen Show, and even Oprah Winfrey paid a visit to the school to show the students some love. I'm in the parking lot of Westside High School in Newark because I heard about this great principal. Cannot, you cannot underestimate the power of love. And this is what everyone has been showing. They've been showing my kids and, 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 and me and this community that they, they love them. And, and that's going a long way. And speaking of love, Principal Akbar has a new book titled Focus on the Love, a transformative, a transportive, transportive, sorry, I'm getting, messing this up here, approach to organizational leadership. And he joins us this morning to share all of the new and exciting things happening at Newark's Westside High School. Good morning, Principal Cook. I am such an admirer of you and your work. We really appreciate you being with us this morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. This is amazing. It just the love just never stops. So thank you. Well, you you were the one that starts it all. I mean, we first met you back in 2018 when Pix11 covered the story of of the washers and dryers that you got for the school. Then Ellen DeGeneres donated a hundred thousand dollars to the school. So tell us what you did with that, and then what happened after you were able to make that difference. So the hundred thousand dollars, I wanted to be morally responsible. I mean, I could have went to Six Flags and, you know, took the whole all my kids, but mm -hmm. I, I wanted to reinvest in my community. So I said, you know, I, I looked at where I'm at in North with the food desert, and you know, for my Lights On program, we give out fresh produce every Friday, like including today. But you know, during the winter months, it's kind of hard. So I'm like, well, if I put a greenhouse and I do some urban farming outside, I'll be able to take care of my community. But since I'm a business and finance school, I'll be able to show my babies how to bottle it up and sell our own hot sauce, barbecue sauce, pesto, chimichurri, you know, the list goes on. And then I'm teaching kids, you know, agriculture. You know, it, one of the things that we don't do as much in the black and brown communities in urban districts. So I thought that would be an amazing way to give back to my community and also show my kids how to fish instead of giving them fish. And, and you're really setting an example, right? I mean, it's spreading to this idea is spreading to other schools around our area. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so with the lights on, we realized during COVID that child hunger went up and a lot of folks were without food. So I worked with a number of schools in New York City. I'm thinking about 15 in New York City, and then I'm in Staten Island as well. So we give a lights on grab and go. We give out uh, we give out food to, to everyone on, on two days out of the month, right? But now we're starting an urban farm, and so I got two schools that started it off. I have Farrow's Charter School in the Bronx. And then I have, oh, you're making me forget the other school, PS5 <laughs> in Brooklyn. So I have two schools that are doing urban farming so they can start giving back to the community as well. And what, and what does that feel like for you to be able to see what you are inspiring all over our area and really across the country? It's, it's, been, it's been surreal. It was one of my lifelong dreams to give back. And it took a, my, my OSG, stands for Austin Brown, there's a coalition of principals that come together and just try to do amazing things for people. And it took them, most of them in New York City. So when I had this idea, they said, Quick, bring it over here. So I have to give all of the, you know, my shout out to OSG for believing in me and letting me share my vision with the world. Yeah, you know, we're at a turning point, too. You know, you're, you've been so inspiring in, in terms of COVID. But these last two years must have been really tough for you and your students. How did you adapt in dealing with this pandemic? So I think the whole world was put on notice with the digital divide. I mean, we all have Chromebooks for kids, but we didn't realize they didn't have Wi-Fi at home and things of that nature. So it really put that on and under the spotlight, but more importantly, how I told you hunger went up, but then we talk about mental health really was thrown at the forefront because we took kids that they safest places with us and we threw them back into a place where most of them don't want to be at because of whatever goes on at their house. So that, that, that hurt. I am a caregiver, and if I can't be there to touch the babies and make sure they're good, like, what, what good am I? So it, it, it hurt. It hurt a lot. But I, I said about the lights on, grab and go. We started taking care of our neighbors with our homes. We started taking care of our senior citizens. 
of my kids and other people in the community and that kind of spiral into this love affair that you see that's sparkling all around the country. We have two schools in LA. We have two schools in Vegas. We in Atlanta, we're going to the Virgin Islands and I'm and in April, I'm going to Cameroon in Africa. Wow. So it is spreading Amazing. and I'm happy about that. Yeah, you know, and you're just getting started. You have big plans uh, for a mall, a West Side High School. I understand you want to, you want to create a mall inside the school. Can you tell us about that? Yes. So I'm not really the business guy, but I do know <laughs> if you own a local corner store, you learn the family business by being there. You learn how to stock the shelves, greet customers, cash register. So I said, if I make West Side High School a mall, and what I mean by that is I have a Capital One branch in my school that my kids run as a real branch. My kids make about $17 an hour to teach financial wow. literacy. And and now CVS is coming in, and CVS is going to put a CVS in here, not to make money oh for the kids, gosh. but to show the kids how to run their own retail. Ethica is supposed to be putting in a showroom in here as well. They do the underwear. So I have a salon. I have a, uh, you know, a catering. We have our own food truck. Um, I have a studio. Like, so it's going to be all of these stores. That, and now we got westsideab.com where I sell my own hot sauce. So, yeah, it's going to be awesome. That is amazing. We're running out of time, but I don't want to let you go without you talking about your book, focusing on the lo how love outlines, how, how to be better leader. There you go. Hold that up for me. So why was it so important for you to write this book? Tell us a little bit about it. I, I found myself focusing on the negativity, and one of my friends, uh, Alava, he told me I focus on the love. So when I wanted to do a book about leading with love and tell everybody, like, listen, you don't whether you're running WPIX 11, whether you're running a school, whether you're running your Fortune 500 company, if you lead it with love, like a parent does their own household, great things are accomplished. So this is just a how-to manual, how to focus on the love. It's number one on Amazon. Please go out there and buy it. We appreciate everything you're doing. It's going back to kids in my community. We appreciate what you are doing, uh, Principal. We really appreciate everything that you do. You're making such a huge difference in our communities and communities all across the country. So thanks for being with us. I thank you. This is awesome. All thank right. you for having me. And his book, Focus on the Love, a transformative approach to organizational leadership, is available wherever books are sold.